In this section of the second grade measuring length and time unit, students will read and write time to the nearest one minute increment using analog and digital clocks and distinguish between AM and PM. In first grade, students were expected to tell time to the hour and half hour. Materials include geared clocks, model clocks, and linking cubes. A common misconception related to time is when a student confuses the minute and hour hands on an analog clock. For example, when shown 645 on an analog clock, the student may state that the time is 609, 906, or 930. To help students overcome this misconception, use geared clocks so that students can see the relationship between the movement of the hour hand and the minute hand. Another misconception is when a student reads the number closest to the hour hand as the hour. For example, when shown 645 on an analog clock, the student states that the time is 745. To help students overcome this misconception, an analog clock can be paired with a digital clock so that students can compare the time on each. A numbered line can also be used to help the student visually see that the time has not reached the next hour. The number line may represent six hours and 45 minutes or just the minutes between six and seven. In this lesson, students will read and write time in five minute increments. Make a model of an analog clock using a number line with linking cubes representing increments of five. Then make a model of an analog clock with linking cubes representing increments of five minutes. Ask students, how are the number line and the analog clock alike? Student responses may include, both have 60 tick marks and you can skip count by fives on both. Ask students, how are the number line and analog clock different? Student responses may include, one is a number line and one is round, or one has hands and the other one doesn't. Discuss how the linking cubes represent a linear model of the five minute increments on a number line. If linking cubes are placed in increments of five on the analog clock, one hour is represented. Show students a model of an analog clock with the minute and hour hands. Point to the hour hand. Tell students the hour hand is the shorter hand. The hour hand points to the hour. This hand moves slower than the minute hand. One full rotation of the hour hand represents 12 hours. Two full rotations of the hour hand is one day or 24 hours. Move the hour hand between the three and the four as shown in this example. Ask students, if the hour hand is between the three and the four, what does that mean? Because the hour hand is between the three and the four, the time starts with three. Using the same clock, point to the minute hand. Tell students the minute hand is the longer hand. The minute hand points to the minute. The minute hand moves faster than the hour hand. One full rotation of the minute hand represents 60 minutes. Tell students that the minute hand is pointing to the six. Ask students, if the minute hand is pointing to the six, how many minutes after the hour is it and how do we know? It is 30 minutes after the hour. We know that by Starting at the 12, skip counting by fives until we reach the minute hand at six. Ask students, what time is shown on this analog clock? 3.30. Review how to write digital time using hours and minutes. Tell students that time is read in many different ways, including using the language quarter past, quarter to, and half past. Show students a model of a clock partitioned into fourths, quarters, or halves as shown below. Tell students that each quarter of a clock is 15 minutes. Show students a model of a clock as shown here. Ask students what time is shown on this clock. 2.15. Ask students what is another way to read 2.15 on the clock. A quarter past two. Explain to students that because the minute hand of the clock is on the three, this time can be read as a quarter past the hour or 2.15. Continue practicing reading times using the quarter past, quarter to, and half past language. This lesson introduces students to AM and PM. Show students a model of a clock as shown here. Ask students to read the time shown. Ask students if this is the time when teachers start arriving on campus, would it be seven o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock in the evening? Teachers start arriving on campus at seven o'clock in the morning.
tell students that to designate a morning time, AM is used. This time is read as 7 AM. The abbreviation AM means before noon or midday. When reading time from midnight to noon, AM is used. Show students another model of a clock as shown here. Ask students to read the time shown. Ask students, if this is the time when some people eat dinner, would it be 6.30 in the morning or 6.30 in the evening? Some people eat dinner at 6.30 in the evening. Tell students that to designate an afternoon or evening time, PM is used. This time is read as 6.30 PM. The abbreviation PM means afternoon or midday. When reading time from noon to midnight, PM is used. In this lesson, students will be introduced to reading and writing time in one minute increments. Using the scenario from Time Flies, say the math team is going to a conference for work. Their flight leaves at 9.24 a.m. Is the math team's flight in the morning or in the afternoon? Using a model of an analog clock, represent 9.24 a.m. Tell students that the time is shown to the minute. Ask students, how is the hour read on this clock? The time starts with a nine because the hour hand is between nine and 10. Ask students what strategy has been used to count the minutes in previous lessons. In previous lessons, students have skip counted by five to calculate time. Model skip counting by five, stopping when 920 is represented on the clock. Tell students that 920 has been represented. Ask students what strategy could be used to count the remaining minutes. We could count by ones. Using the same model clock, show students how to count the remaining minutes until 924 is shown. Tell students that once the additional minutes have been counted, the clock now represents 924. In this lesson, students will review reading time in one minute increments and AM and PM. Read the first scenario and ask students to identify which clock represents the correct time. Lead a class discussion on the differences between the clocks shown. The math team is on a tour of the city. They stopped for coffee at 8.19 a.m. Which clock represents the time the math team stopped for coffee? The clock on the left shows 8.19 because the hour hand is between the eight and the nine, so the time begins with eight. The minute hand is pointing to 19 minutes past the hour of eight. The time on the clock on the left is 8.19. The clock on the right shows 3.40 because the hour hand is between the three and the four, so the time begins with three. The minute hand is pointing to the eight, which represents 40 minutes past the hour of three. The time on the clock on the right is 340. For this lesson, students will read and write time to the one minute increment, determine whether or not an activity occurs in the morning or afternoon, and read time as quarter to the hour and quarter past the hour. Present what a day to students. As each scenario is read, model the time on an analog or digital clock and discuss whether the activity is occurring in the morning or the afternoon. Some scenarios may ask for other ways to read time. Nicole drinks coffee at 6.24 a.m. How can this time be represented on a clock? 6.24 a.m. is represented on this analog clock. The hour hand is between the six and the seven, so the hour starts with six. The minute hand is shown at 24 minutes past the hour of six, so 6.24 a.m. is represented on this clock. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We hope you'll find these videos helpful, and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.